All right guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. Today is a little bit colder than it was before. It might reach 40 degrees today. At least the, the weather is kind of calm with wind. It's not raining yet, but tomorrow is actually the weekend. Tomorrow's Saturday, and that's 90% chance of rain all day, half inch or more. Just It's just gonna be nasty. So we're gonna get together today, move some of these little steel panels, continuous fence panels, get them all lined up. Um, we're tired from moving all that other stuff when we realize these are even heavier than posts. Uh, they're weighing about 180 pounds a piece, uh, something like this. It's about another 10,000 pounds of steel, something around there. So um, we're gonna move these and get them all lined up and it'll start taking shape. And I can share with you a little bit about kind of how the flow might go, what things we're, we're doing. It, it'll look better, right? And you'll kind of be able to see it. So keep with us here on Black Acre Ranch. <laughs> This pen's all mapped out. Just have the big ones left. All right, Elder, cut the camera on. Right. Cut the camera. I'll <laughs> make you go right. We have to have the bar on the outside. Wait, what size? Oh, yeah, bar? we need to flip this. Oh. <laughs> all right, so you're back and go to that end. Okay guys, so last time we set all the posts and it sucked because we had to lift everything. So the four elders came by again today and we had some two newbies. Now you'll, you'll remember Robertson from the past six episodes or whatever. <laughs> yep. He's gonna die here eventually, but Massey was the one who got out of it Maisie? and sent the other dude, right? Hold on. In shorts. Hold on. Maisie. Other Maisie. Maisie. You're saying it Maisie. wrong. Maisie. All right, it's Maisie. So he sent the other guy in shorts in the rainstorm. Yep. So yeah, he did. This is Maisie. How long have you been out? Been out for a little over three months. Just That's it? Yeah, he's yep. a baby. He's he pretty new. Are you a baby too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What were you before <laughs> this? This is uh, here, his first area. You're a greenie, and yeah. you're still a greenie. Gosh Actually. dang it. So you're from where? Ogden, Utah. Ogden, another Utah guy. Okay, yep. and then this is Brew Breaker, right? Yeah, Elder Brew Baker. Brew Baker. Yeah. yeah. All you, right. You can do it. So where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Arizona. What part? Snowflake. Snowflake. Oh yeah, that's right. You're a snowflake guy. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're from Phoenix originally, so. How long you been out? 18 months. 18, so he's getting old. He can die here too. <laughs> so, he just got here, what, six weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, six weeks ago. So anyway, they helped us lift all these panels. They're 180 pounds a piece or so. So that was nice to have some extra manpower. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point them out. So if you need service or you need help, look up some elders in your area. Yes, and, uh, perfect. They're always willing, so we appreciate them. That's all right. right. Say goodbye to mom and dad. And That's then right. uh, we'll let you guys go. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Okay, the elders took off. We got all these panels done. It's starting to take shape. You can kind of see it with these panels up. So they're 24 feet long, and we've moved them, and we have everything kind of set up the way it is. And there are four pens. I'm in a pen. There's a pen over here. 
these are the same length long and they're the same width okay they're based on 24 foot sections okay so in other words 72 feet this way 72 feet this way all right we then have a central alleyway and we have 12 foot gates right around the middle and then we have the two pens on the opposite side equal distance but they're only 48 deep not 72 so everything's the same width so this is the four pens when we were putting the panels out we started lining them up and over here there's a gap that's because we have two panels which create 48 feet then on this wall behind me there's gonna be a 12 foot gate over here so that means we only have 60 feet so if we have 48 plus 12 you get 60 so the other half of that panel is coming from this other side over here so we have two panels and then this one's gonna be overlapping so once I cut this one in half it goes over there this is it this is all the panels getting done so it's kind of nice I wish I could just stop right now and leave it but it's still 40 degrees and I did go this morning I got a bunch of welding supplies I'm gonna see if I can get some of the welding done today if not it'll be Monday I got a hood auto darkening hoping that helps so I'm not blind so I got this new hat it's all snazzy I look like dark helmet from space balls anyway totally like Rick Moranis but anyway so welding this is my problem I don't suck that bad but I suck enough okay so this isn't going too well I'm using 1 8 it's a 6011 rod um, it's an all-around general purpose rod for those people who don't know a lot about welding kind of like me and um, but it's just a general all-purpose welding rod so the point is I'm using it it's only 1 8 inch um, and I'm blowing holes through it so this pipe is like a 0 0.30 thickness and this is 14 gauge cross members and so I'm trying to get in there and get them tacked down so they can start doing the welding but it's just here look at this guy so it's just melting right through this guy and, it, and it's not just the tip I mean down here it did it yes but as I work down the line at different times it's still it's just getting too hot I've got it on the lowest amperage setting that this thing does I've got only a 1 8 inch rod actually sorry it's a 3 32nd rod so it's even smaller than a 1 8 and it's just it's too hot like the way I'm doing it right I mean it's possible to do this but with my experience it's not happening right now so um, I haven't done these two because of the strap but down there it's just some of them work but other times I'm even trying to direct it more towards the post and not so much to this but it's most of the time I'm just melting and creating holes and I'm trying to fill and I just before I get doing too many of these I have a friend who welds he's gonna come down he's gonna help me do it we're gonna crank this out starting tomorrow in the middle of a rainstorm we'll see but hey I, I'm not beyond accepting the fact that I suck at something enough I need help so that's why I'm calling him in and uh, we're gonna try and get this done in the next few days but um yeah it, it's i sucked at it right and it's the dissimilar thicknesses so he's gonna help i'm gonna help him and we'll get going so otherwise i'll take off my dark helmet I like space balls come on guys you gotta smile at that so the night came everything kind of just got busy and we ended up having to pack it out so we finished this it wasn't on camera but this little section got all done so the kids all did it themselves. I was over trying to weld and burn holes through everything and failing miserably, but they got this section. So this is the far north section. We're gonna have a 14 foot gate in this opening right here. It's 12. 12, you're right, 12 foot gate. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those and put it up. So this has been a couple days. Um, we got some stuff done on the welding. Friend came by and we were able to get this thing cranked out a couple days but this is the after effect right we've got everything done on the handling facility so most everything there's a couple tidbits that aren't done the continuous panels are up they were fairly simple we didn't get it on camera because frankly you know I'm not gonna film him you know just out of respect for his privacy and stuff I'm not filming him but 
um, it got done. So let's show you in a little bit of it. I'm gonna do more of a detailed flow and all that kind of stuff later on. Um, so don't expect that right now, but let's go ahead and look at some of these details. These are the two bigger pins of the four. So we have four pins and there's a central alley that goes between them. So these are 36 feet wide and 72 feet long continuous panels and I have two 12 foot gates at the very ends of them to allow us to enter and exit appropriately. They're all hinged on this side as opposed to the freestanding side just for more support and holding the gate. So when you guys are looking at this realize that this isn't going to be 100% done. Okay this is workable functional to get some calves separated. That's it. Okay there's a whole nother after sorting working section this is the gathering and sorting so the gathering is going to be all out here and we have about probably a half acre or so that's left for that they'll be funneled from there into one of these pens here this will be the sorting area and then we're going to have the actual working area off this central alley that's back here so there will be a gate on that end and a gate on that end. The reason I was struggling so bad was that my I had too much heat. And so before he left, he kind of gave me some scribble stuff on the welder here. Um, this is the amperage setting, it's ranges. It's 40 to 110, 50 to 150, and 80 to 225 amps, okay? This then is for a dial of power setting once you're in this range, okay? My problem wasn't the techniques, so to speak. Um, it wasn't finding the arc and striking it. It wasn't none of that. My problem was that I was all the way up to 10 and I was 50 to 150. And I started doing that. And on the rail, which is only like 14 gauge, super thin compared to the post, which are like a quarter inch or bigger thickness, um, I'm just melting. There's so much heat going through there, I'm melting it. So he said, rails, turn that down, pipe, turn it up, and then depending on my rod, adjust this as necessary, okay? I called him on the phone and I asked him, hey, I'm burning through this, what's up? He says, you gotta turn it down. Well, I only did that. That was sitting at 10, and I was still melting, and that's why I just, I gave up. If I just did that, that's all he did and it probably would have worked. So, some of this stuff isn't done. Um, like I said, a couple of gates. We need to trim some spots where some of the panels have extended a little further. We're gonna grind all those down. And I'm gonna weld up two gates and also put some angle iron and do some reinforcements here and there and touch up some welds and so forth. I might need to also raise the bars here and there, but I still get a weld. But like I said, this is a project that's still ongoing. Um, it's a work in progress, okay? It just needs to be functional right now to get us the stuff done and get some sorting, and then we have nine months to fix everything. Pretty much is what it is. So that's where we're at. So this is one of the continuous panels we started with. This is actually the one I first started with. Um, it's on there. He didn't really touch this one up very much, but I would want to point out, this is the height. These are seven rail, 50 inch or 60 inch, um, panels. So these are actually off the ground quite a bit if you want to see that. They're off the ground a little bit, so mid shin, but I am with these boots probably 6'4", and so it's it's over six foot. All right. If you're in a handling facility you need some tall fences. Um, these should be tall enough and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying a lot of stuff right now. I'll save that for later, but you need something tall. I've left the pipes up top uncut on a lot of these things because I might come back at some future point and raise and put another line, maybe. You know, that's still in the works, but I'm not limiting myself. I do have top or caps to put on top of the posts. I'll worry about that later when I figure out the height. Um, I'm also gonna put over some of these gates, like at the end, when I put a gate here, I'm gonna come up and over and I'm gonna just do that on all of these different gate spots just for added reinforcement, and guess what? That's later. Take a gander around and kind of see what there is, but um, it is what it is. It's not bad. This one's 48 by 36, and so is the next one. 
And you can see just this 10 foot alley goes there between them. This is just a full 360 degree view, guys. All right, guys, so that wraps everything up, okay? We got everything done. But uh, next step is getting everything finalized with this holding pen, the gathering pen, if you want to call it that. There's different names. I've heard people call them all sorts, but we need to make sure we're closed off in all the areas. We're gonna bring the buffalo in and kind of get them used to it and quickly get these things separated so we can get them all treated. We've got all the medicines, the vaccinations, all that kind of stuff has come in, all our tools. We're just waiting now to get this finalized here quickly and we'll keep you posted as we do so. We still got some stuff to do and working our buffalo for the first time, so stick with us, hit that subscribe button, like the video. Um, we're approaching that thousand subscriber mark, so just you know, keep liking, sharing it with your friends. Um, we're making progress, building a, a bison ranch from scratch, guys, okay? We'll catch you next time, talk to you later, bye. Oh.